Hi, my name is Patrick Blanco. My Apple ID is 1529261. The date is 6-27-2022, and the time is 3.04 a.m. I am doing Group E, Lecture 9, Letters A and B, Venus and Mercury, and Mercury and Venus, better yet said. <clears throat> I would have loved to do Earth, but let's do something that I know a little bit less about. Um, for Mercury, Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Uh, when Giovanni Zuppi in 1639 was observing Mercury, he noticed that Mercury had phases like the moon. And why is that? Why does Mercury have phases like the moon? Because it is the most elliptical planet in orbit, in our solar system's orbits. So that means that it travels really far and it comes right back in 87.97 days or 88 Earth days, better yet said. So it has the shortest orbit as well. It has the most elliptical and shortest orbit. Um, at its closest, it's 46 million, um, 46 million kilometers away. And then at its closest, it's 70 million kilometers. It's a philion is 70 million, and its perihelion is 46 million. Pretty cool stuff, man. And that means that its temperature, which at its highest is 800 degrees, and its lowest is 375 below zero degrees in uh, Fahrenheit, um, doubles when it gets really close to the sun. Now, a quick tidbit about it. In Chinese, it's known as the water star. Now, moving on to Venus for letter B. Uh, Venus is the second closest to the sun. Its uh, orbital period, I believe, is 586 days. No, 583 days, correction. And it is really hot there. It's 860 degrees at its lowest temperature. It rains sulfuric acid, and it snows metal in the mountaintops, which is pretty cool if you think about it, but not the kind of place you want to go on the first date. And I definitely won't be going there anytime soon, unless you're into that kind of stuff, but hey, I'm not. So anyway, back to Venus. Um, yeah, why does this snow metal on the mountaintops? Well, CO2, 96.5% of the atmosphere is made out of that, plus 3.5% of nitrogen makes it really hot. So the metal on the surface evaporates to the mountaintops or you know, to the upper atmosphere and it cools off and it comes back down to snow. Now, on the surface, you have liquid CO2 and liquid nitrogen, which is pretty crazy if you think about how hot it is. Um, now, what do I find really interesting about all this stuff? Oh, one more thing about Venus. 93 times the density of uh, Earth's atmosphere. So it's like being one kilometer of the water. All right, what do I find really cool about this? That the Earth is so close to these planets and the sun, yet we have such a perfectly balanced ecosystem. Everything is so perfectly balanced, and that amazes the crap out of me. So with that, I bid you adieu. Ciao, ciao.